I greet you, sir. My lord, a rough trip? All right, enough greeting. Down to business. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank you. Report now. Your lordship, the rebel group is not far away. They're hiding out in Wang Cha village. Prince Chu, did you see him? Your lordship, I saw him quite clearly. He's there. Prince Chu, nowhere in the world is safe for you since you've chosen to oppose me. You fool! Let's go. His Royal Highness is very important to the Ming Dynasty, and therefore his safety must be ensured. Sir! Sir. Highness, I suggest that you leave now. I agree. I know the eunuch's men are close behind me, and I thank you. Goodbye, and good fortune. Farewell, Your Highness. to hear the royal decree.
sir. Right. Sir. Old man, come here. Take him, sir. Let him stand. Oh, man, you know your crime? What we have done was not a crime. <laughs> you ignored the orders from the great emperor and then attacked his men, killed them too. And just for that, your entire family ought to die. You look so. You're forgetting your history. You look way did the same. That is, gave false orders. Issued decrees, while his emperor had no knowledge of the killings carried out in his name. Hmm. Prince Chu wants to use up the throne. He is a traitor. And everybody knows that fact. That is not true. Royal Prince Chu helped the emperor. He wanted to reform the whole system and to forbid the imperial eunuchs from interfering in court politics. But you plotted against him, falsely accused him of treachery, and set the emperor against the prince, so you could retain your corrupt position. All that? Let him live. You think that I will tell where the prince is? You look so. You depraved monster. I'll never talk. <laughs> As you will. But you are mistaken. 
because I already know where the prince will have gone to. Huh? How could you? He's desperately looking for some sanctuary. Legal. Huh? What'd you say? He went to find a temple which could offer legal sanctuary, such as Wong Chie Su. Huh? But he's wrong. Because when acting on imperial edicts, no temple is a sanctuary. Kill him. We have a young student here. His name's Tan Sao Jin. And he could beat the eunuch Chow. Tan Sao Jin. A good family. The son of Tang Er. Oh? He was a legendary loyalist warrior. A brave man. He refused to obey the eunuchs. And when he refused to do so, they had him dismissed. Yes, that's right. Now he's dead. Was murdered 12 years ago. And his son has been studying Kung Fu ever since. With his skill and filial piety, I think that he's the only man who could beat the eunuch Chow. So we have a loyalist to continue my battle. Well, that's a good thought. I wish I could have seen him. Hydus. I shall order him to leave the temple at once. To ensure that he survives. And then he'll work to carry on your cause here. Thank you. 
my lord. Who ordered this? My lord, no one did. I wish to test my skill and nothing more. Your ability is the ultimate test for me. Lang see you. Tell me. You were in the capital. Why'd you come here? Your lordship, I was just afraid for you and for your safety here. Because I know that your two generals, Kuei and Zhao Sang Wen, are useless, incapable. That's why I thought I'd come here. But you tried to kill me, though. My lord, I was just testing your guards. And at the same time, I was also testing my own abilities. I would never have hurt you. You do know that. Maybe so. But you did nearly kill me, though. I've angered you. Please, kill me. Get up. I dare not. <laughs> That's all right. Keep on trying. It will assist in keeping the witch up for both of us. My lord may be right, but I would not dare again. <laughs> now you say you doubt the ability of my generals. Could you beat them? Those two stupid fools. In fighting, they might beat me. But in intelligence, no comparison. So that means I could beat them, for it's brains that finally count. Hmm. But Kung Fu must have a solid base. Simply relying on clever tricks is to invite defeat. I think they fight better than you, both of them. And you wouldn't have a chance. So don't you try them. Sir. Don't you know? Those two could hear all that. I did know that. You did? Because you know I could beat them both. So there had to be a reason for what you said. And so I assumed that you would praise them to make sure they wouldn't feel jealous. <laughs> Lang see you. Lang see you. That's why Eunuch Wei trusted you so much. And that's why I didn't want to have you kill and let you live. But now then, I'll give you some advice. So you listen to me. I would be flattered. Never you be too contemptuous of any of your opponents, even when they're obviously inferior to you. So never relax. I mean, because even rats will sometimes fight back. going to see the prince. Prince too? Why has he come to the temple? Because Eunuch Cha and his men are seeking to kill him. My lord, it's near midnight. Call out the men. Why start off at midnight? It will take us six hours to arrive there. So if we start off at evening, we arrive at midnight. And in the dark, they could quite easily escape us. And if we start off at dawn, then they could spot us coming. I see. So you start off at midnight, arriving just at dawn. When they wake up, our soldiers will have got the place surrounded. I want everybody there killed. None must escape us. Jin, you must leave here now. If you find trouble at the prince's house, then you read the contents of this letter. Yes, teacher.
must leave now. But please all pray for Tan Sa Chin, that he may succeed. Buddha bless him. Mm. You may go now. We have searched the place. It's empty. Sir. Again. Sir, come. My lord, may I go in and take a look around? My lord, there's no one inside. Hmm. Impossible. My lord. Post some guards. Nobody goes in. Yes, sir. I allowed the monks to exist in this temple for 12 years. But it seems they don't value their lives.
Destroyed your skill with my head blow. I am very sorry to have to disappoint you, but I will recover in a week. I know that you will. That's why I have ordered in the next week you must die. <laughs> At long last, even if you did it yourself. My lord. Lordship. I was extremely worried about your safety. After all, someone could... Nobody could. The prince is dead. No matter how he died, he's finally dead. 
Come, brother. Get up. Thank you. General Lu? Sir. Go and take over the guard at Kwan An. Yes, sir. My chair. Eunuch Cha within seven days. Otherwise, he can never be killed. Your master's will. Lordship. Mm. Bring him here. Move. <laughs> Tell me, who was it ordered this? Traitor! The devil ordered me! Devil? Huh. So he'd like my company, huh? Well, you tell him he wasted your life. Because no one can kill me. Lord, there were.
were much too careless. You could have been killed. So I killed them as a special warning to your other guards. Good. You're quite right. That should serve to warn them. Get back! General Sal? Sir! You will support General Lu to guard this place and guard it well. Sir! Yeah. General Lu, let's report to his lordship. He'll know what to do. What? What do you say? Report again. Tell his lordship. Then he would simply order me to catch the murderer. So why don't we just report after we've caught the man? You idiot. Yes, sir. Go on now. Yes, sir, sir, sir. Yes. Looks to me that that wound there was actually caused by that coin, then. Coin? Mm. Whose coin is it? My lord. Ah, uh, his coin? I want the guard double! Yes, sir. You two men, over here! Set! Sir. Quick, come on! Come on. Double the guards! Set! Double those guards! Sure! Double the guards! Yes, sir. Hey, uh, come on. Quick. Lord Fong. Lord Fong, I think that killer's around here. Uh, where is he? Well, I think I... I just saw him outside. That letter says General Lu should arrive here tonight with his men. Huh? Oh my god, he's got us caught like a rat in a trap. <laughs> Hello, God damn it.
What sort of coward are you then?
Your lordship. You'll travel four days. You should rest. Then report tomorrow. Tell me the news from the city first. Your lordship. Lordships Yang Chun Kwai and Chin Sin have both conspired against yourself. So please give us orders, and then we can arrest them both. Hmm. Wait three days and then act. Sir. Now give orders. As from today, the men are all on full alert. Nobody is allowed to leave the village. Sir. General. Hmm? My life, my life. And where did you find him? Just nearby in the woods. Even Lou couldn't beat him. So maybe, even if his lordship himself took him on, it's possible he might just lose. That won't be necessary. I'll finish him. I'm not Lu Kwai. No. Did you ever have a contest with Lu? And win? Hmm. <clears throat> Kung Fu. I'm a lot better. And as for brains, I have more than twice as many as Lu. And I do have a plan. Now you better make arrangements to replace our general. But still, let me advise you. Make sure that you make a better job of it than he did.
Think your ambush will get him? My plans are always perfect. Not had a failure yet. Not met him before. Hmm. Just you wait and see. General Sal. Hmm? Huh? It does seem that your brilliant plan didn't quite work. Quick, come on. We better split up. You go first. I see. To take Lou's place isn't enough, then. Well, now, it seems that you're the first person to come through my little trap alive. Just what do you want? I just want your life. need a sword. Your kung fu is useless. Where'd you learn to use it? No, you don't. I know that one. Trying to trick me. Bastard! Shut your mouth. And let's fight! <laughs> sons yet so nobody will look after your grave <laughs>
cost of revenge is high. Just take your friend and go bury him. Very good. Congratulations. You're wounded. I won't fight. I can wait. Thanks to you. You... You watched me kill both your friends. Just stood back. You want Chow's job. You're a bastard. You really are. You're even worse than Chow. You may be right, but I won't kill you. I may have use for you. Well, I'll kill you. <laughs> but we too, we could defeat Chow. So let's combine. Fight him. Kill him. Bastard! <laughs> When you've recovered, you think about it, and then come to see me. I'm sorry, sir. No one is allowed in today. You stopping me? No, sir. But you saw him. So those two fools refused your help? Not exactly. But even so, if I had fought, then I would be dead as well. And so, you live to fight another day. My lord, to replace Lu, I know a man. Good kung fu and a great swordsman. He's an all-round expert. Well, what do you know about his background? Well, there is a snag. That isn't too good. He's Tan Khan's son. Tenkan. But he's that well-known student from the Wang Chu Temple. Hmm. Hmm. And he wants to avenge himself. Yuni Chao, return the life of the prince. Return the life of my master. Eunuch Chow, return the lives of my parents. My friend, I have given out orders to double the guard. And from now on, you must not leave my side until we get to San Sao Chin. My lord. I've already lost my two generals, and so I must rely on you. Thanks for your confidence. But still, I'd like to try to talk to Tan. Talk of what? Offer him the job of general. I might just persuade him to change sides. Hmm. Right. You can try it. Thank you, sir.
Come back. Sir. Stop the search. It's useless. Sir. Next time I saw you, I'd kill you. <laughs> and I said, I want to talk. What do you want? You can't be that certain. You alone could beat Chow. His kung fu may scare you, but not me, though. Hmm. But if we combined, we might stand a good chance. But if you should try it alone, you're dead. No, thanks. I'll take that chance. I won't let you. I risk my life to tell you that man's kung fu is much too good. Well, I'll find out. Tang Si and Tang Tao Chin were talking together. They were plotting against you. My God, sir! His lordship. Okay. Hurry it up. <laughs> Come on, you man. Protect his lordship. <laughs> Get out. I won't kill you. Get back. Hey! <laughs> 
Protect his lordship. Sir! My lord. West Ham. I'm useless. Failed to capture him. Oh. So he escaped then? Yes, sir. Oh. You were hurt? It's just a scratch. It was nothing, sir. Hmm. Well, I had a chance to see his skill. He's about as good as you. But even with lots of men, you not only couldn't get him, but you got injured. Should I still have confidence in you? Uh, my lord? <laughs> Thanks to you. You're too ambitious. But you're the first to manage to fool me. You just stood back and let my generals die. And I didn't guess. Until I received a report on your conversation with Tan Sao Chin in the courtyard. I still didn't believe it. until only just a few minutes ago. Thanks to you. You're very good. <laughs> I suppose I should have guessed when we were inside that temple. Yes, you should. And I missed my first chance to kill you when your brain was injured. The other time was in the sedan chair. I could have got you. The third time is now. And I'll kill you while I can. Before you recover from that brain injury. Tell me. Are you simply after my position in the court then? <laughs> you would think that. Well, just what is your purpose? Tell me. Destroy the eunuch system. For once and for all, we'll see. Listen, you are much too good. It would be a waste if you were killed. Accept the position of general. Traitor, you won't see the seventh day.
belong to you. You must realize your sacrifice is not going to help your friend. Before I die, I can still tell him, though, about the brain wound that you got from his teacher. Huh. Seems you've forgotten. This is the seventh day. I'm fully recovered. <laughs> Go for the head. Just forget the body. Thank <laughs> you. 